guys, it's Steve here, and um, I'm going to be talking uh, with this during this lesson uh, about the four major ways to hold your drumsticks. There's four different grips, okay? First, we have Germanic, okay? And that's when your tops of the hands are pointing straight up, okay? So... Tops of the hands are pointing straight up and the fingers are holding on to the stick like this. It's mainly a wrist motion. So, elbows are out to your sides like this. Not like this, but like this. And See the fingers? On the stick. Okay. You'll notice that the drumsticks make a V shape too, okay, like this. So, you also want to keep this closed, okay? So, fingers are grabbing the stick like this, not like this, okay, like this. This is closed and the tops of your hands are sticking straight up and you're making a V, okay? okay? That's Germanic grip, okay? It's a very powerful grip because you've got the meat of the hand on top of the stick. Now we switch to French grip, okay? This comes from French timpanist grip, okay? Timpani players, Play like this, okay? Their fingers are on the bottom of the stick open and the thumbs are on top of the stick. So if I show you like this, it almost has kind of a seesaw effect type of thing. Okay, elbows out, sticks are parallel. Okay, sticks are parallel like this. Boy, I, I need work on the French grip anyway. grip is uh, very useful for speed, okay? Um, you can get some power with French grip, but it's mainly a speed type of thing. And furthermore, if you're a drum set player, you know, I've heard some drum set players say, well, you know, I, I always play, you know, German grip or I, you know, I never play French grip or whatever. Well, you know, when you go over to the ride cymbal here, like this... That, that is basically, if you see the thumb on top of the stick like that, that's basically Germanic grip. So, or if you're over here on the floor, Tom, that's okay. If I just bring my hand over like that, that's French timpanist grip. Next is called traditional grip, and it's a bit controversial. Okay. I'm sure some of you have seen drummers hold their sticks like this, okay? Ah. Okay. So, here's how you hold traditional grip. Okay. Take your hand flat like this. Put the stick inside Pinch with the thumb and index finger. And I'm actually going to show you this way. Like that. And then you bring it around. And you rest between the third and fourth finger. Okay. And keeping the fulcrum right here. When we hold our sticks in Germanic, French grip, or whichever grip you're using, the fulcrum is right here. Okay. Right there. Traditional 
it's right back here. So don't start holding your traditional grip back here because that'd be like holding your drumstick like this. That'd be terrible, okay? So your traditional grip is gonna be right here, okay? And try not to have your hand sticking, the palm of your hand sticking straight up like this. It's gonna be a little bit more like a handshake, okay? So like this. And you'll notice, you'll see some freedom in your fourth finger right here with the stick, okay? It, it may bounce around a little bit in there, okay? But your main pinch point, main fulcrum point is right here, okay? thing about traditional grip that came out it's actually a uh, it actually was a compromise okay because in the wartime era when you had drummers leading the troops into war they had these big slings with these big field drums okay and the drum heads were slanted like this because of the slings all right, because they're imagine there's a sling around me and the drum head is tilted like this, and they are actually a little bit higher. It's a little bit like that. Well, the drummers back then had a hard time playing like this, so they decided to turn this over like this, and that's how tradi traditional grip was born. The thing is, now, in modern times, we can set our drum sets up however we want. Traditional grip is no longer absolutely needed. There are a few reasons to play traditional grip. The only reason I play it is because I'm a teacher and I felt that I should know traditional grip in order to teach people if they wanted to learn it. Another reason is you're in a drum line and it's required as far as tradition, okay? So that's one reason. Another funny reason is it people play traditional grip, believe it or not, to make it look like they seem like they know what they're doing, you know. <laughs> It, and it, it, it does, okay, it does kind of look cool. I'll, get, I'll, I'll say that. That's, that's fine. But, um, and other people say the meat of the hand is under the stick so they can get a lighter touch. But with that, so you're telling me that this is a lighter touch here, you know. Okay, so you're saying that you can't achieve that with a light, you can't achieve a lighter touch with your fingers like this. You know, so I think I don't use traditional grip because I don't think it's very useful. So, and some people would argue with me about that and that's fine. But anyway, getting back to the last uh, grip, it's called drum set grip or American grip, okay? And it's basically where you have the tops of your hands at a diagonal, okay? You have this open here, so you have all wrist and fingers accessible. And you can practice this grip, you know, act like you have water on the uh, tips of your uh, drumsticks. This is a Jim Chapin idea. Uh, and you kind of flicking the water off the stick like that. Okay. Sometimes you can think of, uh, think of the, this type of motion here almost like a yo-yo okay you know you're or, or maybe even a basketball you know you're bouncing the stick okay do not do try to try to avoid this try to avoid digging the stick into the drum like also try to avoid this a lot of beginners put their index finger on the stick so they can get control you're going to have two motions there. If you dig in, you're going to have a downstroke, and then you have to bring it back up. But if you're able to bounce it, 
Ah, you're already set up for the next note. Like that. Holding the stick in here, kind of like, well, another gym shape and thing. You're kind of holding it like a bird, okay? You don't want the bird to get away, but you don't want to kill it, okay? You don't want to, you know, like that, yeah, yeah. So the way to practice this stuff, whether you're doing Germanic, French, um, traditional, or American, I would recommend maybe doing you know, eight strokes per stick, eight strokes per hand, meaning <laughs> so on and so forth. Make them nice and even, nice and relaxed. Hold the sticks like you're holding a bird. You don't want to death grip it like that, okay? So those were the four grips, okay? We had Germanic, it's like this, the V shape, hand, uh, tops of your hands sticking straight up, fingers around the stick. Not this. Okay. Okay. French grip, French tympanist, thumbs above, thumbs on top of the sticks, sticks parallel. Traditional grip, again, holding your hand like this, putting it right there, turning it over like that, okay? Just like that. It's hard for me to do it with this hand because I'm used to doing it with this hand. Should be held with the left like this. Don't be doing this, okay? This is traditional. And then drum set grip, or as they call it, American grip. Space in here, space in here. Remember, yo yo or basketball. Okay. All right. So that should do it. Take your time with these grips. Okay. Don't be, you know, okay, well, I got German grip, da-da-da-da-da, French grip, da-da-da, you know, and then, uh, traditional, blah, 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 okay. Take your time with this stuff. You're going to want to be in a hurry, and the, the, the shortest, the, the, the fastest way to do this stuff is to take it very slowly and understand what you're doing, and also maybe practice in front of a mirror. It doesn't have to be a big mirror. It can be a smaller mirror just in front of you so you can see your hands and what they're looking like and what you're doing, okay? And make it simple, don't start going, you know. Okay, don't start going crazy on the drums. Eight strokes per, per, uh, per hand. So on and so forth. All right, thanks again, guys.